everyday Bitcoin payments may be here sooner than you think. But are Bitcoiners really the target market for Apple's latest news? Welcome back, everyone. We're going to talk about the latest bombshell from Apple today. Uh, shout out to fellow Bitcoiner, Humble Warrior. Uh, she is the one who shared this particular tweet in our Good Morning Bitcoin space. So I started to do some, some digging into this, right? Um, and what am I talking about? I am talking about Apple supposedly opening up its, its payment chip to third parties in order to make Bitcoin and crypto tap to pay possible. On August 14th, Apple agreed to begin letting third parties use the iPhone's payment chip to handle transactions, a move that allows banks and other services to compete with the Apple Pay platform. The move follows years of pressure from regulators, including those in the European Union. The payment chip relies on a technology called NFC or near field communication to share information when the phone is near another device. Apple had, had been reluctant to opening up the chip to developers, citing security concerns. And I just want to note that um, even though they cited security concerns, they couldn't actually um, define a single security concern. So I'm not really sure what the actual problem was. Um, I, I really think it's just because Apple uh, has this, has essentially this, um, this culture of building a moat and essentially keeping everyone else out of the playground so that they can dominate the, you know, the metaphorical playground anyways. So the change also threatens the revenue it generates from Apple Pay transactions. Okay, so that that's probably more the real reason why this happened. The company takes a cut of all payments made via the iPhone. But look, if they're opening up their NFC technology, there is uh, to third-party vendors. Let's be honest; they're more than likely going to be charging these vendors a licensing fee. Uh, there's probably going to be some type of a subscription fee. More than likely, there is going to be some type of V. Uh, sorry, some type of fee based on transaction volumes. So this is just. I, I mean, you know, the the concern that somehow Apple is going to be losing on their own payments. Um, I, I think it's, uh, I, I don't think there's any merit to it because essentially I think they're going to end up picking up much more revenue, uh, from these third parties. Anyways, under the new approach, Apple will still require developers to pay associated fees to use the NFC chip and enter into a commercial agreement. According to the statement. Apple payments, right? We are all excited about these Apple payments, aren't we? No. Yeah, exactly. No, I, I don't really care uh, about about the payments right now. Um, I, I don't I don't really care about Apple uh, allowing access to their NFC chip or not. But something I, I, I did want to to bring up is that in going through my news aggregator, when I typed in the keyword Apple for today, uh, it did have a lot of search results. And, and although there was one that mentioned Bitcoin payments, every single other article that came from any crypto slash crypto um, publication, right? Like Coindesk and Cointelegraph and all of this stuff. They were only mentioning one thing and they weren't talking about Bitcoin guys. They were talking about USDC and more specifically, they were talking about Circle, right? So Circle's USDC is looking forward to being able to leverage Apple's NFC technology in order to facilitate payments. So this all goes back, guys, to the stable coin wars that we're seeing play out, okay? Like, we're all here talking about Bitcoin, and we understand Bitcoin's qualities, but make no mistake, the legacy system has figured out its angle in the crypto space, and it is stable coins. OK, and guys, I, I am not telling you this because I'm like, oh, yeah, you should be buying a stable coin. No, that's, that's just complete fucking nonsense. Okay? That's that's just the fiat system, right? Well, what's the stable coin? The stable coin is going to be pegged to 
the actual currency of the country, which is constantly losing value. So your stable coin is constantly going to be losing value. It's going to be pegged to that diminishing purchasing power. So in no way am I advocating for people uh, to purchase this crap uh, or to quote unquote invest in this stuff. What I'm trying to do simply is just bring awareness to the fact that this this really, this NFC payment thing, this has nothing to do with Bitcoin. I understand that it was framed in this way uh, from the Radar Hits tweet. And uh, I, I understand that BTC Archive also, uh, you know, wanted to frame it for Bitcoiners. I, I like to reframe things for Bitcoiners as well too, right? Like, because for me, that's all I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about Bitcoin. Um, but this this NFC thing, this is more about this is more about the stable coins, and this is more about them. Now, um, to back up, right? Apple was citing security concerns. Now, could those security concerns really have to do with the fact that these stable coins and their ecosystems weren't quite ready yet? And and now, conveniently, as the legacy system continues to encroach around Bitcoin and the crypto system, which it owns crypto anyways. Conveniently, Apple is opening up their their NFC technology uh, to to these third parties so that they can build wallets around them and use tap to pay. And of course, Apple will now create a brand new revenue stream. <laughs> yeah, guys, it's a narrative battle. It is a narrative battle. And lucky for us, right? This is this is one of the beauties of Bitcoin. There is no corporation. There is no marketing department. There is no metaphorical head to Bitcoin to cut off. So you know what? They can't stop Bitcoin. The Bitcoin wallet developers, I'm sure, are going to be integrating NFC technology as soon as they can. Um, I know that there's already a few. I know that there's the tap signer. I use the tap signer with nunchuck. I, I think that that's absolutely amazing. I am definitely curious to see if one day I'll be able to use the tap signer in conjunction with nunchuck uh, when I'm standing in line at Walmart. Um, but yeah, I, I just, I, I don't know. I, I think it's, I think we're going to see this evolve in a way that is not going to make us very happy. Um, but again, I just want to point out right now in Bitcoin's growth journey, right? It's, it's much less about the, uh, the medium of exchange and much more about the store of value. Uh, and that oscillates, right? Like that's not always the same. Like I can tell you when I first came to Bitcoin, it was much more about the medium of exchange for me, that that's really all I cared about. Uh, and then I only, as I began to learn more about the qualities of Bitcoin, did I start to, did I actually start to care about it becoming a store of value vehicle. So my point is, is that it's a lot of gray area. Okay. It's not cut and dry. It's not like all of a sudden we're store of value and now we're switching to medium of exchange. Like that, that's not how this works. Okay. It's not just like black and white and we switch from one to the other, right? These are all oscillating and, and we're essentially on this pendulum, right? And as the pendulum sways, different parts of these use cases crop up and in some cases get more support, in some cases get less support. There is no immediate, this is what Bitcoin is for and only this, and this is what it's for and only this. It is essentially, it is growing, it's evolving. And no, do not misconstrue what I just said for supporting shit coins and supporting all kinds of crap. Okay, that's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is that the story is evolving and it is not static, it is dynamic. Anyways, guys, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Uh, I am happy about this Apple news. I do think it's cool. I am cautious as to see who really starts to build around this technology. And I, unfortunately, I believe that they're doing this for the crypto space. I hope I'm wrong. Uh, I'll be glad. I'll be glad to be wrong in this case. We'll see what happens. Guys, catch you next week.